join me in our mission statement together. Unity of Hagerstown, a welcoming community, embraces spiritual awakening through affirmative prayer and meditation, creating a positive path for abundant living for all. And now we'll have the reading of the Daily Word with Karen Mahalan. And as she makes her way up here, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that the Daily Word is an inspirational reading that you can get in your email inbox or as a hard copy by going to unity.org. Good morning. Sunday, September 4th, 2022. Ease. Beholding God in every circumstances, circumstance helps me know ease. It is easy for me to find God in the glory of a sunrise and in the laughter of children and to feel God's love as I get together with friends or family. Wherever there is wonder, joy, or fellowship, joy, God is surely present. I remember that God is just as surely present when my responsibilities feel overwhelming, when conflict arises in a relationship, or when it feels as though there isn't enough of what I need. If I begin to feel tense, fearful, or frustrated, I remember that wisdom, love, and understanding and strength, all of the divine qualities that live within me, are ready to help me handle any challenge. Assured by my awareness of God's presence, I move with ease and grace through whatever this day brings. Mm -hmm. Those who listen to me will be secure and live at ease without dread of disaster. And that's Proverbs 1, 3, 3. And if you are joining this reading, our sermon for today, Beholding, Beholding God, God in, in every, every circumstance, circumstance helps me know ease. Just think about that for a moment. Keep it with you. Let's repeat it. Beholding, Beholding God, God in every circumstance, circumstance helps me know ease. Thank you, Karen. And now we have another song with Brent and Patty, our fabulous musicians. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. This is a new one to us, too, so please join in. I rest in God today with peacefulness returning. This is my only way to satisfy the yearning, to satisfy the yearning. I rest in God. I rest in God. I rest in truth today, breaking up all illusion, no more fanciful dreaming, waking up's what I am choosing, thinking to the stillness, sinking to the stillness. This is the peace, mm -hmm. this is the peace. A bird with broken wings begins to sing. A stream long dry starts to flow again. I rest in God today, the temple doors are open to those both close and distant, for all are coming home, 
all are coming home. I rest in God. I rest in God today. I rest in God. I rest in God. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Um, so what does it mean to rest in God? Well, different paths may mean different things. In unity, I believe it's to rest in an awareness that we are connected with all that is. It's to rest in that Christ consciousness, our higher self, our true essence, if you will, letting go of the worries and the fears and the strife of this world and having that peace within be felt, experienced. So that's, you may answer it differently, <laughs> but that's what I think it is. So it is Labor Day weekend, and it's time to relax. It's time to rest, if you will. Maybe even barbecue and picnic a little bit, who knows. Time to recharge our batteries. Labor Day is always the first Monday in September, and it's a creation born out of the labor movement, the unions, and the, and the um, disgruntled workers of the late 1800s. Congress decided they needed to do something, so they created a day of rest. And the workers, in the meantime, still worked 70 to 80 hours a week. But we reap the benefit of an inner and outer ways for work well done. Let us pray for harmony and understanding in labor management relations. Let us give thanks that both labor and management are open and receptive to the guidance of spirit, that they are willing to do the things that contribute to progress and to the highest good of all. So it may seem in today's current economic climate that the working person is being stretched thin a bit with the rising cost of living. Working hard, getting nowhere. There's a lot more working poor in this country than it has been in past decades. But I know, I believe, that we can all get somewhere in consciousness. In fact, that is the beginning place to get unstuck. So if we're feeling stuck in a job, stuck in a rut, stuck in our prayer life, stuck in any way, we can shift that through our spiritual practice. And as a community also, not just individually, if we are feeling somewhat mixed emotions about what this community is facing with um, checking out the perfect place for us to meet at, on an ongoing basis, then what do we do? We turn to our spiritual practice. Jesus, our, our master teacher, tells us to come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. He was speaking of that Christ consciousness within. Turn within and go to that higher perspective to that place where the peace that passes all understanding is felt and it's not that maybe you'll get rest you will find rest there this is a promise this is a spiritual promise to us when we turn our thoughts inward and let go of the egoic striving and just practice that presence of God within that unfailing presence of peace, that indwelling presence of heart. You know, spirit doesn't doesn't talk with a doesn't talk with a loud voice. It's that gentle nudge within, that inner wisdom that that prompts us to follow it. So as we gather together to co-create our next perfect meeting space, we've been, we're doing the mastermind, which is a communal prayer. We're meditating on it. We have visualized it. What if we just allow it to rest? 
what if we allow it to percolate for a while? In the creation story in Genesis, we know this. God rested on the seventh day. Rest restores balance. Not only physically, we offset physical labor with rest. In fact, we need rest. We need that time of sleep. But also mentally, we, we allow the tensions to fall away so that we might be restored, restored fully. When we are in that quiet, still place, that is when we are most open to inspiration, I believe. Now, that quiet, still place may mean that you're painting a picture, but your thoughts have quieted. Doesn't mean necessarily that you're sitting on your meditation. Our life, making it real, our prayer requests, making it real, feeling the truth of it. Charles Fillmore, co founder of Unity, tells us realization means at one meant, completion, perfection, wholeness, repose, resting in God. A realization of health brings to the consciousness and inner knowing that the divine law has been fulfilled in thought and action. This at one meant with God brings a lasting joy that cannot be taken away. A realization of prosperity brings to our consciousness that inner knowing of this oneness with Exhale slowly for eight. Do that on your own time. Three rounds. Four, seven, and eight. This is the day of peace. You rest in God, and while the world is torn by winds of hate, your rest remains completely undisturbed. Yours is the rest of truth. Appearances cannot intrude on you. You call to all who join you in your rest, and they will hear and come to you because you rest in God. In God, we have no cares, no concerns, no burdens, no anxiety, no pain, no fear of future, no past regrets. In timelessness, you rest. While time goes
And as our time of meditation comes to a close, I invite Brent and Patty to share another song. And we can just allow this to wash over us or join in. Two hands, from head to heart, two hands, from head to heart, two hands, from head to heart, two hands. Woo! Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And we do have a few announcements today. Now through September 15th, the Unexpected Income Program continues. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been hearing amazing stories of this program, people getting unexpected income. And if you want to learn more about about it there should be started doing it it was maybe 60 people showed up at the soup kitchen to get food they were food insecure 60 people it is now I just got a message from the pastor at Zion they served hundred and seventy people that's how things have changed and I'm sure you know our good cooking has something to do with that but but it's also because people are feeling that pinch more and more you know, so we are really helping out here. If you can make a contribution through service or uh, food or uh, monetarily, that would be great. Uh, again, we have the Unity World Day of Prayer, which is a worldwide prayer day of If you're uh, feeling like volunteering for the day, just see January after the service. It is a great fundraiser for us, and it's also a great outreach program for us, too, as people come and explore not only different healing modalities in little mini sessions, but they get to learn what Unity is all about, too. Unity is a healing ministry on top of many things. Okay. So now let's say goodbye to our Facebook friends. We love you. We bless you. We behold the light that you are. Have a fantastic week. And remember that you're too blessed to be stressed, okay? <laughs>